looks like this smear campaign of Saban and company will not go unanswered. The following contest is set for one fall, where the winner will receive a TNA Knockouts World Title shot at sacrifice. Introducing first, from the Rick City, the Barbs League Badass, Tasha Steele. This is the third matchup between Tasha Steele and Zaya Brookside, and the stakes couldn't be any higher. I want to take you back to their first matchup last month. Zaya Brookside won her first singles matchup in TNA, defeating the former Knockouts World Champion and Tasha Steele. And then three weeks ago, Tasha Steele was able to put away Zaya Brookside, escaping the Brooksy bomb in the corner. Now at this series tied one apiece, the winner will move on to Sacrifice. One week from tomorrow, Friday, March 8th, live on TNA Plus, Triller TV and YouTube for our Ultimate Insiders in Windsor, Ontario, Canada, to challenge the juggernaut for the Knockouts World Title. Her opponent from Liverpool, England, Zaya Brookside. Zaya Brookside, like you just said, first onto this scene, a huge, huge victory over Tasha Steele, the former Knockouts World Champion. And so this series has been very, very tight, and how appropriate now that the rubber match, the deciding factor in all three of these matches has so much stakes on the line. Can you imagine if Zaya Brooks had this early into her TNA career could have a knockout world title shot on the horizon. But sincerely, it would be remarkable. Less than two months now since she made her TNA debut in Ultimate X at Hard to Kill, and I've spoken to her, had a great interview with her on TNA's YouTube channel, social and digital platforms, talked about how going into Ultimate X she had no fear, wasn't afraid of the likes of Tasha Steeles, and beat Tasha Steeles in her first singles match in this company. Ooh! Now look at Brookside, not gonna stand for the trash talking here with Steels. These two have gone at each other on social media in recent weeks, of course. And now it's Brookside, oh! Going right after Steels. And there you can see backstage, there's the reigning Knockouts World Champion, Jordan Grace, fresh off her successful defense at no surrender against Giselle Shaw, taking in this matchup between Steels and Brookside. The winner gets Grace at sacrifice. Ooh! There's a cover. Is Steele's going to sacrifice? Kick out by Brookside. Yeah, I would like to point out, Tasha Steele's just hit what looked like a variation on the jackhammer. That's a move the juggernaut likes to use. Maybe the mind game's beginning early for the Boricua badass. A message there for the champ. Thinking about the cutter, trying to end this thing early, it looks like here. Good strategy by Tasha Steele's. Ooh, boot right to the face. And this one, again, telling oh. of their rivalry so far has been Pretty physical, pretty quick oh. between these two. Great drop kick there by Brookside. Brookside Front. fired up here tonight. Oh, went for the crossbody. Now Brookside trying to move on to Sacrifice and the kick out. Sacrifice will be live in Windsor, Ontario, Friday, March 8th. Don't forget, Saturday, March 9th, TNA Wrestling presents Impact. Tickets are on sale Ooh. now via TNAWrestling.com. You do not want to miss those two events at St. Clair College in Windsor. Tasha Steeles takes quick advantage with a little bit of a strike to the eye area, let's say there. And able to get the advantage here now. Beautiful headbutt. That's why she is the greatest who beat the greatest and a former world champion. Also coming up next month, we return to Philadelphia in the legendary 2300 Arena. TNA Wrestling presents Impact on Friday, March 22nd and Saturday the 23rd. Oh, and then looking ahead to April, Saturday, April 20th, Rebellion will be at the Palms in Las Vegas. We're heading back to Sin City. It'll be live on TNA Plus, Triller TV, YouTube, and internationally on DAZN. And on Sunday, April 21st, TNA presents Impact. Tickets are on sale now via TNAWrestling.com and Ticketmaster. Oh. Uh, Brookside, this is the resiliency she's shown, shown throughout her career in pro wrestling, as you and I have observed for many years. And remember, Zaya Brookside, still very young in her wrestling oh, career. Pressing but, the oh, shoulders down to go to sacrifice in a kick out. But has been able to do so much, traveled around the world. Could she potentially 
add a world title to that resume if she gets through this match and gets to sacrifice. As Steele's controlling Zaya Brookside, looking back at no surrender. Giselle Shaw, without the Shaw entourage, who she fired, certainly put together a fantastic effort, did not get the job done. I was thrilled to see that the words of the TNA Hall of Famer, Gail Kim, resonated with Shaw to go it alone. Again, put together a great effort, but Grace, just too strong. Grace continues to roll, make history as she always does. But I mean, to be fair, I always knew Giselle Shaw could do it on her own. Oh. I always believed in her on her own. Uh -huh. I, I never thought she needed anybody else. Oh, and now Zaya Brookside. Trying to build some momentum here oh. against Tasha Steeles. Oh. And down goes Steeles towards the corner. Brookside turning it up to 11 here. Oh, double knees calls that broken wings. Now lining up Steeles. Oh, looking for a cutter of her own. Oh. Sent into the corner there. Now Brookside, oh, a kick right to the face. Now trying to set up Steels in the top turnbuckle, trying to set up for the Brooksy bomb. This is how Brookside won her first matchup against Steels. Steels saw that one coming, though. In short order, these two have gotten to know each other very oh. well. Steels was able to counter the Brooksy bomb in match two. That's what helped Steels win that one. Wait, look Brookside, at this. Brookside having to adjust. And Brookside, oh! oh! Coming to the full head of steam there. Takes the Borik with badass off her feet. This one has been incredibly physical, incredibly nasty between these two. Look at Oh, oh and the running neck breaker there by Brookside. Out on the floor, too. Took a little bit out of Brookside there as well. Got a three from the official. Both have to the count of 10 to get back inside the ring or else be disqualified. Count of five here. Now Brookside trying to get steals back inside. Count of six. Oh, trying to get back in to beat that count. Tasha grabbing at the leg there. Oh, and a big right. Count of eight. Now Steele's trying to get back inside. Brookside, count of nine. Wait a minute, Brookside and Steele's. Oh, there's the 10 count. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has ruled this match as a double count out. Well, Brookside and Steele's got carried away on the outside, but I mean, that's how heated things have gotten between them, Tom, but a 10 count's a 10 count. Wait a minute, who's going to challenge Jordan Grace at sacrifice? Well, I think we're about to get a, a little bit of a clearer idea that Juggernaut herself is in the building. The Knockouts World Champion, Jordan Grace, is in the impact zone. I was watching from the back, and I think I've seen enough. I'm gonna make this real easy for everybody. You both won a title shot. And I'm gonna give it to you both. At Sacrifice, Jordan Grace versus Zaya Brookside versus Tasha Steeles for the Knockouts World Championship. Well, that is huge. That makes it clear that Juggernaut willing to take on all comers for the Knockouts World title at sacrifice.